In this lesson, I want to talk about how to apply force units. Two ideas that I have found very useful in my career. Number one is to develop a physical sense about the size or magnitude of force units. Number two is be able to convert between pounds force, which is abbreviated LBF, and newtons, which is abbreviated capital N. There are two key facts that I remember. Number one is I remember that one pound force is approximately equal to 4.5 newtons. I also remember that I can look up a conversion ratio that has more accuracy. And if I look that up, what I'll see is that one pound force to four significant digits is 4.44 8 newtons. To illustrate these two ideas, let me do an example. So I might ask the question, how much weight can I lift? And let's suppose I can lift 100 pounds. So I'll write down 100 pounds force to get force units. And then I can convert this to SI units just like this. So I'll write 100 pound force And then I remember that if I have one pound force, this is the same as 4.5 newtons to two significant figures, so I can put a approximately there. And pounds force cancel, and I can see, aha, I can lift 450 newtons of weight. So it's kind of neat to tell my friends that I can lift 450. I just won't tell them what the units are. If I want to do a more exact calculation, I can write this. 100 pounds force. And then 1 pound force is exactly the same as 4.4. 4.8 newtons. Again, pound force cancels. 100 times 4.448 is 445 newtons to three significant figures. As another example, I might ask the question, how much does water weigh? And the best idea is get a scale and weigh the water, or I can look this up. But what I'll find is the weight of one liter of water to three significant figures is 9.80 newtons. And if I want to see this in English units, 9.80 newtons. And then let's see, there's 4.5 newtons to two significant figures in one pound force. And this comes out to 2.2 pounds force. So a liter of water weighs 9.8 newtons or about 2.2 pounds force. Another useful fact to remember is that the weight of one U.S. quart, so a quart of water, equals very close to one pound force. In summary, to convert force units, develop a physical sense about how big a newton is, how big a pound force is. It's useful to memorize this conversion ratio. One pound force is exactly the same as 4.5 newtons. And it's useful to remember that this conversion ratio can be looked up. Anytime you need more accuracy, there is a conversion ratio in the tables. I hope this lesson was useful. Thank you for watching.